before we go now whether you're trying to lose weight maybe you're recovering from an illness or you're dealing with an injury you can hire a personal trainer to get real and faster results they can help develop a program that can help you meet your personal goals they can also teach you the right way to exercise my next guest this morning he's an experienced personal trainer here in the keys he's also the president of we be fit Dan, thank you for being with me this morning. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful having you here, Dan. And I'd like to kind of hear a little bit about We Be Fit. Well, We Be Fit is a personal training company based in Key West. We have a gym that's dedicated solely to personal training. Mm -hmm. And it's also a publishing company in which we create content um, on our website. Articles I've been, and reviews and recipes and nutritional information. Okay, and now how do you come up with all this content, Dan? With research. Mm -hmm. We have three researchers that are part of WeBeFit that their sole job is to go through clinical studies to find out what actually works, whether it's related to exercise or nutrition. Okay, now how many years have you been doing personal training here in the Keys yourself, Dan? For over 11 years now. For over 11 years, okay. And I know there are a lot of personal trainers fortunately here in the Keys, but what would you say makes you different than some of the others? Well, first We Be Fit works as a team. There's five personal trainers and we all work together. They're all employees, so we collaborate together. Mm -hmm. um, when we sit down with a client, the first thing we do is sit down and have a consultation to 30, for 30 or 45 minutes. Now, it's not a sales pitch. What we're doing is trying to find out information on the client, their health history, their family health history, their exercise history, um, their nutritional eating habits. So then we can determine what type of program is best suited for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you determine what program is best suited, then you get started right away, don't you? Correct. Okay. Now, I understand too, Dan, that you have also, along with doing all of this, you've written a book. I have. Let's talk about the book. Uh, the book is The Diet is Dead. And it started out as being a several month project that morphed into several years to complete it. And in that book, we identified the four pillars of weight loss. Uh, it, it is a workbook to take you through step by step making permanent weight changes and how to maintain them. Mm -hmm. And it's available in paperback and also in ebook for, format on iBooks and on Amazon. Okay. And we're currently working on the follow up book for that, which should be out early next year and it's a simpler format in which we're going to t be taking one page tips that will show you how to make permanent weight changes as much as two pounds a week just through simple steps. Okay and now I have to imagine that fitness and nutrition it's always changing isn't it Dan? It's well there's so much more money going into research mm -hmm. what we've learned in the last 10 years about the human body and what works is probably more than what we learn the previous 30 years combined. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's been that that changing. Yes, it is. So do you stay on top of all these changes then with the researchers that you've hired? We do. With that and with the personal trainers, because we work as a team, we're all bringing our ideas together. Mm -hmm. And we can, so if someone comes up with something new, we share it together to the benefit of all our clients. Okay. Yeah. Now, if I were to be your client, Dan, how often would you have to work with me throughout the week? That varies. Um, frequently it's a, a, a function of budget for people. Mm -hmm. We have clients that will come in for a what we call a fitness tune-up where we just get them started on a program and help them and, and they'll go off on their own and every month come back for a checkup and sort of a, a tweaking of their program so mm -hmm. they continue to move forward. And then we have clients that will work out as frequently as five hours a week with us. Mm -hmm. But I would say our average client comes in three days a week um, per sessions. Per sessions. So that's not too bad, just three times a week. I know everybody has bu busy schedules, but you know, three times a week at what, an hour a time, or does it again depend? It depends on uh, schedule, mm -hmm. budget, um, and you know, we found ways to, because of people's busy schedules, we had mm -hmm. to find a way to get more benefits in less time. Mm -hmm. And this is where the research has come in. One example is uh, eight years ago, nine years ago, the accepted form of cardio training was what's called steady state cardio, where they recommended five hours of cardiovascular exercise every week. Mm -hmm. Problem with that was getting people to conform with it because they don't have the time. Mm -hmm. And so we looked into a form of training called fartlek training, mm -hmm. in which they could uh, do a type of 
training in which then the research was good with that in which they could get more to benefit under a less period of time then studies came in on something called interval training and finally there was a method called heart rate based interval training in which we combine those two forms of training in which you can get the same benefit of six hours of steady state, steady state cardio in an hour and a half a week. Wow, wow. So research was key right there. Right. All right, now before we go, Dan, could you give our viewers a little tip, advice, whether it's nutrition or fitness? I'd say if you're looking to make changes, uh, without changing nutrition, nothing happens. And the average American takes in three times the amount of sugar than they should. So what I would give the advice for the next two weeks is to track your sugar every day. Count and don't try and change it. Just look at the sugar in your diet from all forms of food, whether it be fruit, candy, soda, or, or, or even in vegetables there's sugar, and track it. At the end of that, see how much it is. The average American should take in no more than 50 grams of sugar a day. And you'd be surprised. How much. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I might be a little scared to show you the results, but I'll try it. Okay. okay. <laughs> thank you for sharing this information You're with welcome. our viewers this morning. All right, that's going to do it for me this morning. I thank you for joining me, and I ask you to join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and again at 8:30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.